I have blinky clock now and here's an, some NAND gates that are attached to the clock that basically turn these into count enable pins so this is a count up as soon as I disconnect it from ground start counting up in binary and up there, there you go and if I put that back to ground it'll stop and I take this and now we're counting down in binary obviously and I can speed it up it's not all that fast right now I'll probably have to play around some more with the resistor and capacitor values because you can see it's only counting one two so basically 256 every two seconds or so so about 128 Hertz not very fast but uh, let's see demonstrate some other things um, I'll stop the counter hey look we got was that nice alternating pattern accidentally there <laughs> so we can right now this is outputting to the bus I can tell RAM well let's turn off the output for now let's see what's in RAM at this location so I don't have any indicators here to show what memory location we're looking at but I can go up one location down one location you can see that there's different garbage values stored at each location So here we got a 1 in the high bit and then 1101 in the low order nibble. So let's go ahead and that's what's coming out of RAM. We can read that into the data register here by bringing, let's see, load. So the clock's running. I'll turn that back down just so we can comprehend things. Put the load, as you see, as soon as I pull it from ground, it actually loads. Uh, why did it load all zeros? Oh, <laughs> right. I'm not actually reading, so I need to hook up the inputs to the bus. Then I can load. And now you can see it's the same number of bits, but it doesn't look right until, let's see, we'll turn off the memory output. Whoops, oh, I'm still loading, okay. <laughs> turn off load, turn off the memory output, and now it stays, there we go, okay. Then we can turn off the input. We can also now turn on the output. So you see that's the same pattern there that we had gotten from memory. So this is coming from here, same value coming from here. So now what we can do, watch it add up a little bit, and now we got all bits high on the top nibble and then the second bit high on the lower nibble. So now that we're outputting from here, we can go ahead and load into RAM. It's not going down in, I'm really uh, anticipating my new breadboards. Grr. Uh, but anyway, now I can turn that off, output from RAM, and you see the same value. Go down to the previous location, and we can see what's around it in RAM. And there's our value right there. How odd that it looks, well no, it's not odd, these are all the same. Yeah, just those two bits swapped. And then we can continue this counting all on its own while the memory still has that value in it. Noish. Speed her up a bit. So slow. Oh well. <laughs> It'll get faster and better.